Hello, Startup Chile. Um, so our team has actually been working together for the last eight months, so we're quite mature. One of the cool parts about it is that as a team, we're members of more than 10 different exclusive networks of young leaders and entrepreneurs. We've really taken advantage of this and created our own community of young entrepreneurs. It now hosts more than 800 members in 300 cities around the world, and we connect them whenever they travel. So we use this community to test our prototype and find if the users really liked what we were going to offer them. Um, another great part is how global the team is, because this allows us to tap into opportunities in several different uh, areas around the world. Um, so Titus is currently in Chicago and sometimes in Silicon Valley. We're working from the UK. Eddie, our CTO, is working in Romania and he has access to relatively inexpensive but high quality talent there. And the marketing is being done from Germany with our in-house designer and sort of ethical hacker working there too. I personally developed the backend, the API for the application, and I'm now coordinating the team of young, talented developers from Romania to push forward with the updates for the iOS app, as well as develop the native Android app and the mo mobile HTML5 version. That's why, uh, unfortunately, I will not be attending Startup Chile in person. For the time being, I will remain here in Romania to coordinate the development process and make sure the code remains modular and easy to customize so that we can uh, push forward with the online app builder. So we want to tackle the problem of overloaded, irrelevant and impersonal social networks. Right now, Facebook is trying to do everything for everyone. It started off as a social network for Harvard students and it actually became a network of genuine friends, but now it's become an online directory of everyone that you've ever met. We want to make it easy for a group of people to communicate exactly what they want to communicate. So our solution is to build your own community app. With the data that we collected from that stay in the white labeling of our application, we plan to build a broad range of features so that the individual users can build a community based around the features that they want and need. So our key steps for the next eight months are to reach critical mass with that stay, secure Series A funding, expand our list of customizable features, and finally, to launch the Build Your Own Community app. We really love to open up our network that we built over the past six months, but also the other network that we were part of to the entire Startup Chile community. So how are we going to do that? We would really love first to build a Kairos chapter in Chile in partnership with Startup Chile. Also, we would like to invite Startup Chile as an exclusive network into Netstay. The third thing would be to help Startup Chile build a personalized app like Netstay, but with its own color, with its own branding, with its own logo, that will bring tangible value to the Startup Chile family.